Yes. This is the narrative for the movie that we are about to film up there. We didn't forget to take it with us. Good morning. So are you in good mood? Didn't make it here. But anyway, good morning, Pavel. All right, let's not wake him up. And this is Lake Chuck. Uh, and this is Anton Shkaplerov. He is done in the gloves now. This process will last for at least another 30 minutes because this so-called spacesuit leak check must be done for each cosmonaut. Okay. Are you without warm suits this time? Well, it's a little bit too early. You remember last time it was minus 20 centigrade and the strong wind. Is it warmer now at Baikonur? Yes. So uh, what is on schedule at this moment? Well, the State Commission members are about to join us. I'm sure we will listen to some kind words and some good wishes. Then we will step outside. Then we must take the bus. It will take about 50 minutes uh, to uh, for a bus uh, ride. And then uh, two hours and 45 minutes prior to launch, we'll start ingress and in our space vehicle. In about two minutes, the leak check of her spacesuit will start. Got some money now? I was told there is nothing to buy with any money in space. No police, uh, no uh, kiosks with some stop and go kind of goods. Okay, we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Oh, well, I believe my producers cannot see me right now. Okay, now right, I'm in the frame. Okay. Yeah, you can take the cap off. See? My cap is right there. I took it off. Make sure we all got the right suits, right? Well, the names help. The uh, crew is ready for the space.
a little bit lower, like this. Bye guys. One more time. We have FEGEO parameters 100 seconds into the flight. 110 seconds. Three. Repeat the data that you reported. Unintelligible. 762 is the pressure in the thermal control loop uh, copy nominal. The vehicle stabilization is performing nominally. One hundred and twenty seconds. One hundred and fifty seconds. The shroud is jettisoned. So we have uh, the automated descent flag. Copy. 170 seconds. One eighty seconds. The vehicle is stable. We are seeing the video from the external camera. 200 seconds into the flight. Five, ten. Get ready to support operation. Five, twenty seconds of flight. Third stage separate. We confirm third stage separation. Astro, it's up to Moscow. 
Astra, MCC Moscow. We are working for page 35, how copy? We copy, and good day to you. We are ready to listen to your report about how you're feeling, guys. Master, this is Anstrey 1. We're feeling great. Everything's working nominally. We're working for page 35, third stage separation went nominally, and KDU trusted repress is no longer illuminated, and we are closing RPV um, valve 1 and 2. Please move on to page... Uh, 35, and that's going to be table 
three hours since uh, the Soyuz launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Heading toward final approach for docking to the Rosviet module. Docking scheduled at 7.12 a.m. Central Time. The range is 270 meters and the range rate is minus 0.4 meters per second. Copy, Astri. About halfway through the fly around that will precisely align uh, the Soyuz with the Rosviet module. There will be a very brief period of station keeping so that uh, Russian flight controllers in Korolyov at the Russian Mission Control Center can evaluate uh, the alignment of the Soyuz with Rosviet. Moscow. The LED uh, fly around is not illuminated and uh, station keeping flag is confirmed. I am activating the floodlight and go to page 54. Copy. And uh, at a range of uh, some 200 meters, uh, the Soyuz now has begun a brief period of station keeping. Uh, so go to display final approach. I am sending final approach from the rendezvous display. 14.58.45 is the time of the command uh, pre -chow. The LED is on. And the, GSO and the final approach command has been sent. The Russian flight controller is happy with what they're seeing. Final approach initiated. One hundred fifty meters now separating the Soyuz from its destination. Range is one forty. And we are seeing the Soyuz now cro crossing the coast of northern Italy. Eighty meters now separating uh, the Soyuz from the station. This video now from the Soyuz uh, over Russian ground stations. Shkaplerov uh, took over manual control of the flying of the Soyuz after the Corps' automated rendezvous system had guided the Soyuz and its three occupants in uh, to a distance of about 75 meters. The automated rendezvous system had guided the Soyuz and its three occupants in uh, to a distance of about 75 meters. We'll be passing out of range of Russian ground stations momentarily, but the direction to Anton Shkaplerov is to continue to push in manually towards docking, about 25 meters separating Soyuz from the Rosviet module. All right. Uh, this is Mission Control Houston. Anton Shkaplerov uh, reporting a mechanical capture or docking occurring at 7.22 a.m. Central Time, 8.22 a.m. Eastern Time. The docking probe in the process of being retracted. Command descent. Victor 8. We did not have uh, downlink television and we had choppy communications at the time of uh, docking, which now is confirmed 7.22 a.m. Central, 8.22 a.m. Eastern. Skip anything. Anton Nikolaevich, Anton Nikolaevich, this is Rogozin uh, speaking. Can you hear me? Do you copy? Yes, I do. Congratulations with the successful docking, Anton. 
You and, of course, uh, Yuli and Klim, we were uh, observing uh, you from Baikonur, so the State Commission also is congratulating you. We wish you to start uh, your mission uh, challenge with of successfully. Thank you so much for your congratulations and greetings. First in, Soyuz Commander Anton Shkaplerov. Russian actress Yulia Parasild. And her producer director, Klim Shapenko. Ten people on board the International Space Station now as the crew makes its way into the Zvezda service module for a welcoming ceremony. Uh, MCC Moscow SS on Space to Ground 1. Uh, go ahead and Space to Ground 1. I read you loud and clear. Hello? We are ready. The ISS crew members are ready for the conference. Uh, hello, Yulia, Anton, Colleen. Uh, this is Channel 1 from Mission Control Moscow. We are following your mission. Of course, we were knocking on wood together with everybody else. Congratulations on your successful arrival on orbit. We have very little time. We want to thank MCC Moscow for this opportunity. Please share some of your feelings and impressions. What happened? How? What did you experience over those three and a half hours? How did you manage, if I may ask, and what are your nearest plans? Everything was new to us today. Every 30 seconds brought something entirely new. And we just met the rest of the crew, uh, the cosmonauts and astronauts who've been living on board the station for some time now. But I'm still in a dream. I still feel that it's all just a dream and I'm asleep. Yes, it is almost impossible to believe that this actually all came to reality. I also feel like I'm still dreaming. Well, in all senses, it was incredible. It was hard, but it was great to arrive on, on board the station. We were met by friends, and now we'll have to learn what to do next now. So the, our feelings are. Actually, five minutes ago, we floated in, so there isn't much I can say yet. But I actually love this fastest arrival. Uh, it was actually quite fast. Well, we had a small delay, but thank you, MCC Moscow, Vladimir Alexeyevich Solovyov. Thank you, who uh, taught us how to make decisions on our own. Everything went just fine, we managed. And now we are looking forward to our work on orbit. Now, how do you think your uh, guys managed? That was their first challenge. Uh, could you please repeat the question? So, 
That was Julius and Klim's first challenge. How did they manage? Exactly as it was supposed to be. They helped. They knew what to do. And they were using tablets. And they were aware of the situation. So everything was done exactly the way it was required by their training. So they did a great job. OK, thank you. And one more thing. Best regards from your family, of course, from Tanya and your daughters. They uh, could not be um, available for this video conference, but now they left Baikonur. And also your classmates are sending their hellos and their support. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, and I'll talk to you soon. Uh, this concludes our video conference. One more time, congratulations on your successful arrival, and thank you all the entire ISS crew member for arranging for this video conference. Now, guys, enjoy yourselves. Have some rest.